Hi there, thanks for joining us on Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight's lineup is all about the fight for justice in the wild, wild west. We begin with a western from United Artists in 1968. Clint Eastwood stars in Hang 'em High. Eastwood spent most of the 1950s paying his dues in minor roles in small movies and television shows. But in the early 1960s, Eastwood made a choice that could easily have been the kiss of death in the movie business. Eastwood left Hollywood and went to Europe. Over the next few years, he had starring roles in three westerns from Italian director Sergio Leone. Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Released in 1964, 65, and 66 in Europe, but significantly, all three were released in the U.S. in 1967, the year before Hang 'em High. Those three Leone movies transformed Eastwood from a largely unknown Hollywood actor into a major international star. Hang 'em High was Eastwood's first American film following his successes in Europe, and it's largely an American version of those spaghetti westerns. Reportedly, Leone was approached to direct Hang 'em High, but he turned the offer down. Hang 'em High begins with Eastwood wrongly accused of rustling cattle and nearly hanged by a posse. But this is Clint Eastwood, so it's a pretty safe bet that before the end credits, he's going to find a way to even the score. From 1968, also with Inger Stevens and featuring a terrific supporting cast, including Bruce Dern and Dennis Hopper, here's Clint Eastwood in Hang 'em High. United Artists promoted Hang 'em High with a great tagline, they made two mistakes, they hung the wrong man, and they didn't finish the job. I realize I'm arguing with a 50-year-old poster, but it should have read, they made two mistakes, they hanged the wrong man, and they didn't finish the job. When Hang 'em High was released in the summer of 1968, it was a disappointment in comparison to the Sergio Leone Dollars trilogy that inspired it. In recent years, Hang 'em High's reputation has improved notably due to its bleak view of frontier justice. It was shot at MGM Studios and on location at the White Sands National Park in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Visually, it's an exceptionally impressive film. The on-location shooting undoubtedly enriches the menacing mood of the film and the grittiness of the story. Hang 'em High is also notable for another reason, though, and marked the beginning of a new chapter in Clint Eastwood's life and career. It was the first movie ever produced by Eastwood's own company, Malpaso Productions, a name that has become synonymous with terrific movies over the last 50 years. Up next, the fight for righteousness continues with an all-time great Western starring Henry Fonda and Dana Andrews.